Guys, it's Riker. Welcome back to another video, man. So today we're going to be talking about Schalke 4 versus Manchester City in the Champions League round of 16 first leg, man. Played at Veltins Arena in uh, Germany. Game ended in a 3-2 win for City, man. City with a ultimate comeback. Uh, going into finishing the first half, being down 2-1, uh, and we're able to score uh, two goals in the last uh, five, six minutes of the game. To really win this game, man. Crazy win. And they won it with 10 men, man. It's just, just ridiculous. After, I believe, um, what's his name? Ultimate picking up his second yellow in the like the 70 plus minute and getting sent, get, getting a red, man, like in the 70 or 68 minutes, something like that, and uh, getting sent off. Uh, first goal, man, in the 18, 17 minute with um pretty much oh i believe david uh david Ville, uh david silva stealing the um the goalkeeper one save farman uh passing the goal uh passing the ball to sane uh the defender for uh for shelka 04 uh the goalkeeper for um shelka uh, passing the ball and uh he was like dilly dallying no urgency and uh david silva just ran and stole the ball from him passed to aguero in front of goal aguero finish it man so 1-0 in the 17 minute minute hero by the defender and the goalkeeper and that what really cost him the game really man uh but man luck was on shelka 04 side with them getting uh two penalty i think those were clearly penalty the first penalty um was with um ultimately pretty much handballing the ball inside the box i don't think it was it was very i don't think it was intentional i think it was trying to get his hand, arm um his hands out of the way at one point too but the ball hit his hand inside the box and i think that's a clear penalty and uh referee uh awarded a penalty and the former man uh ben taleb i believe former uh, tottenham player sports player uh ben taleb stepped up to the penalty in 38 minutes scored and uh like seven more seven minutes uh later on it was uh fernandino pretty much holding uh the defender signing inside the box um from a free kick and uh referee blew the whistle um said it was a penalty and uh, awarded him that penalty you could see um fernandino all in all in uh signing around the waist i think that was unnecessary and i think that was a penalty too and the referee awarded penalty and bentaleb stepped up again took this took the uh, second penalty and scored it and uh two goals in the first half and in the second half, man, City was playing with urgency. They had tons of shots, man. They had so many shots. Uh, most of them went wide and over the um, the crossbar. Um, the Bruni has a few good shots, but they either went straight to the goalkeeper or wide. Same with um, Aguero, man. Other than scoring their first goal, um, I don't think it was on target on most of the shot, man. But it was fantastic overall. Uh, City City attacking players was very good overall, man. They, they all played very well. Sterling is such a great player. Um, man after match, man, I, I don't know who to give it to, man, because I think like uh, the, the front, like five of City players, like in the front, was so very good. Uh, Laporte was solid in uh, as a left back; he was superb. I think he had a fantastic game. Uh, but yeah, man, the the second goal, the equalizer for City, came with Sane coming on. Um, I'm not sure what, what time he came on, man, but um, he came on. This is Sane former club, by the way, man. This is Leroy uh, Sane former club. And I don't know why is Germany left him out of the squad. I don't know why they left him out of the squad for the World Cup, man, because Sane is such a great player. But Sane came on, and uh, Sterling got fouled um, like a few yards from 18, probably like the 26 yards out or 30 or something like that from uh, a few a lot. I, I got this in away from the goal, uh, and um, I'm surprised that Leroy Zani stepped up to take the penalty. I was like, why are you taking the penalty? There's so many other players that I probably should. I mean, stepping up to take the free kick. I'm like, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen Leroy Zani make a free kick before, but um, he stepped up, man, with a belt. I mean, a great shot towards goal, and it just went straight in the back of the net. I was like, oh. like damn, that was nice, man. So... Uh, great goal by Leroy Sane. That goal was just spectacular. Definitely goal of the tournament so far. Uh, goal of the uh, match, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, man, that was a fantastic goal by Sane to equalize it in the um, 70, I mean the 85th minute. And a uh, few, mo few moments later on, man, it was um, Ederson, man, running out his box and uh, doing a long pass, intercepting the ball and doing a long pass up upfield. And uh, it end up at um, Ryan Ster end up at Ryan Sterling's feet. Um, beat the defender, got around the defender easily, just push him off, and just kept running. And uh, one on one, the goalkeeper 
and uh, show that goal and score the winning goal in the 90th minute, man. It was just fantastic. It was just epic. Uh, great win for City. Uh, City at times looked out of it, man. They just looked frustrated. They, look, they was taking just random shots and nobody... I, I know it's like look on your face it looked defeated it looked like the even pep guardiola and um what's his name on the bench i've got the, the um the assistant uh, uh assistant coach on the bench they look like defeated they're like you know what this is uh we, we lost this man but uh they kept playing with the quality they have they just kept playing man uh silver was fantastic the Bruin was fantastic um both silver uh bernardo and uh david silver was fantastic ryan sterling was just superb man uh man of the match man i probably give it to sterling um i, I don't know what probably sterling or uh bentelet man bentelet was fantastic i think he's the only one that really stand out for me for um for them and uh mckinney man mckinney the american probably was the set the one of the best player out there on the pitch today uh he's look like he's gonna be a very good player man probably one of the best american play out right now um yeah i think i i think he's the best american player out there right now man i think Pulisic um is not good as how he used to be uh but bentaleb and uh mckinney man it was fantastic it was very good and uh aguero up top was very good for uh city too uh company came on it that did his little cameo uh zinchenko i like zinchenko but he, he was average when he came on uh midfield man i wasn't impressed with the midfield especially like fernandino especially giving up that dumb fall in the 45th minute to um so Schalke could score their uh, leading goal, man. I think that was done by Fernandino. And uh, Gondogan, I think he had an average game returning back to Germany. Uh, but possession-wise, man, City dominated the game with 64, 66% possession. And uh, Schalke had like 34%. Uh, shots in general, City dominated. City had three times as much shot as uh, Schalke hold four with 21 shots. Schalke only had seven. And uh, City had what five, six shots on target, and City and uh, Shaka had only uh, only two shots on target, man. But a uh, great comeback for City, man. The goalkeeper, um, a lot of people probably was upset about the, the refereeing of the game. I think referee, <coughs> um, I think the, the calls that he made was all right. It was fair, in my opinion. But uh, this is the new channel, man. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I want to hear your thoughts and feedback on the game and my video. Uh, leave a comment, share this video, and with that, you boys out of here.